Welcome to the video lecture on SR latch. Here S stands for set and R stands for reset. So we will learn in detail how this latch is used for setting and resetting operations. Basically SR latch is made up of two cross coupled NOR gates. Let's, let's draw it. An OR gate connected with a NOT gate makes it our first NOR gate and it has two inputs. In the similar fashion again an OR gate connected with a NOT gate makes it our second NOR gate and this also has two inputs and one of the inputs is yes and one of the inputs is R. This has output Q and this has output Q bar. I said these two NOR gates are cross coupled. That means the output of the first NOR gate is connected to the input of the second NOR gate. In the similar way, the output of the second NOR gate is connected to the input of the first NOR gate. In this way, these two make cross coupled. Now, we will try to understand the operation of this SR latch with the help of truth table. Yes and R are our inputs and it has outputs as Q plus and Q plus bar. Here I have written Q plus and Q plus bar instead of Q and Q bar. Q is Q is our present state and Q plus is our next state. So first we'll try to understand what do you mean by present state and what do you mean by next state. Then we'll come back and understand the operation of this SR latch. Here we will consider the block diagram of our latch which has two inputs S and R and has outputs Q and Q bar. So the present state is the state of the latch at the time the inputs are applied. Say for example Q and Q bar are set to 0 and 1. And I'm going to apply inputs as 0 and 0. This is our present state. That means the state of the latch at the time the inputs are applied. This is our present state. And the next state is the response of the latch to the inputs applied. Here I have applied inputs as 0, 0 and how does this latch going to behave with respect to these inputs? That is our next state. So I'll repeat it again. The present state is the state of the latch at the time the inputs are applied. And the next state is the response of the latch to the inputs applied. Right. We have understood the concept of present state and the next state. Now we will understand the real operation of SR latch. According to the truth table, when we apply 0, 0 to the inputs S and R, the output is the present state itself, which is Q and Q bar. That means there is no change in the output. Let's verify it for our better understanding. Let the present state be 0 and 1. 
it could be anything 0 1 or 1 0 here I am considering it as 0 1 so this is our present state and our inputs are going to be 0 and 0 I will consider the upper OR gate first one of the inputs is 0 and other input is Q bar which is 1 in this case when I OR 0 with 1 I am going to get 1 as my output and after the NOT gate I will get 0 and this 0 serves as the input for the lower OR gate when 0 is OR with 0 I am going to get 0 as the output and after the NOT gate I will get 1 as the output and this is our next state if we observe present state and the next state both are same next state is equal to the present state itself so this verifies the truth table now we will consider the second set of inputs to S and R which are 0 and 1 the outputs we are going to get which are 0 and 1 here as R is equal to 1 that means the output of the latch is reset let's verify that let's assume that Q is equal to 1 and Q bar is 0 this is our present state irrespective of the present state the output of the latch is going to reset let's see that how that happens here S is 0 and R is 1 first we'll consider the upper OR gate as one of the inputs to OR gate is 1 and irrespect irrespective of the second input the output of the OR gate is always going to be 1 and after this NOT gate we will get 0 now this 0 serves as input to the second OR gate and the output we are going to get is 0 because 0 OR with 0 is 0 again and after the NOT gate we will get 1 this is our next state so if we observe that Q is 0 that means the output is reset so this also verifies our truth table here we will consider the third set of inputs to S and R which are 1 and 0 and the outputs are going to be 1 and 0 as S is equal to 1 that means the output of the latch is going to set let's verify that let us assume that Q is 0 and Q bar is 1 this is our present state again irrespective of the present state the output of the latch is going to set that means we should get Q as 1 and Q bar as 0 let's see that S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0 I'll consider the lower OR gate as one of the inputs to OR gate is 1 the output is always going to be 1 and after the NOT gate I am going to get 0 and this 0 serves as the other input to our upper OR gate so 0 OR with 0 I am going to get 0 as my output and after the NOT gate I will get 1 as the output this is our next state and if we observe we have got Q as 1 and Q bar as 0 and this also verifies our truth table now we will consider the last set of inputs to S and R which are 1 and 1 we are going to get the output as 0 and 0 here I have written a small star over zeros that means this state has to be avoided we will see it now why it is so S is 1 and R is 1 here I'll consider the upper OR gate first 
as one of the inputs to OR gate is 1, irrespective of the second input, the output of the OR gate is always going to be 1 and after the NOT gate, I will get 0. I will consider the second OR gate again as one of the inputs to OR gate is 1 and irrespective of the second input to the OR gate, the output is always going to be 1 and after the NOT gate, I will get 0. If we observe, if we observe Q and Q bar, both are equal to 0 in this case. But as we know that Q and Q bar are complement to each other. If Q is equal to 0, Q bar must be equal to 1. Or if Q is equal to 1, Q bar must be equal to 0. Here, this state doesn't serve that purpose. So, this state has to be forbidden.